Hello and welcome to the sixth episode of Behind the Railway series, where we take a look at the stories of the Railway series and locate the real-life counterparts in history. Next up is the series' sixth book, Henry the Green Engine, first published in 1951. Since the last book, Henry has been feeling worse and worse. He can't maintain steam and has trouble hauling trains. In the first story, Coal, the Fat Controller decides to change out Henry's coal to help him steam better. In The Flying Kipper, Henry pulls a train of fish but ends up crashing into another train and has to go away to be mended. When Henry returns in Gordon's whistle, he feels a better engine, but Gordon's criticisms lead to the big engine having whistle problems. On a cold day, the young engine Percy longs for a scarf around his funnel, but instead he gets a pair of the Fat Controller's best trousers around his funnel after bumping into a luggage cart in Percy and the Trousers. The last story, Henry's Sneeze, ends with Henry paying out some young vandals by spraying soot at them. Since C. Reginald Dalby started working as an illustrator for the Railway series, the Reverend Audrey absolutely loathed his depiction of Henry. In his blue livery, readers found him too similar to Gordon. Even in his green livery, Dalby's errors stood out like a sore thumb. The Reverend initially planned to scrap Henry in the next volume, but instead he settled on giving Henry a second chance, with an accident and rebuild at Crewe. The Welsh coal described in coal was actually high calorific coal, usually sourced from the Bedwiz colliery and having a calorific value of nearly 14,000 BTUs per pound. Jammed whistles were common on locomotives, like Gordon's whistle, and engines with ash ejectors often emitted soot with steam, like in Henry's sneeze. Henry's accident in the Flying Kipper was based on an 1876 accident near Abbott's Ripton, caused by snow and ice weighing down a signal arm. The resulting crash between the Scotch Express and a coal train claimed 14 lives and led to changes in signaling practices in Britain's railways. The story of Percy and the Trousers was based off a passage from C. Hamilton Ellis's The Trains We Loved, where a great western locomotive crashed into a luggage trolley outside Salisbury. The aftermath was almost similar to what happened to Percy, albeit with a few details the Reverend Audrey chose to leave out for the sake of his uh, younger readers. With the publication of Henry the Green Engine, the railway series quickly became a British institution, with books published in both English and Welsh. Merchandise also began to pop up in stores like postcards and painting books. The biggest innovation, though, came when both the Reverend Audrey and his brother George created a map of the setting for all of the Railway series stories. The Island of Sodor. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, feel free to like, subscribe, and share, and also leave a comment below. Until next time, I'm Captain Rutledge. Good day.